Inside of this capsule is a wasp species I've been very actively seeking. I know she's upset. Let's see if we can get her. Ooh, Ooh that was close. I almost didn't get it. All right, you got the camera rolling there? I'm Alex, the host of The Great Outdoors. Inside of this capsule, I have a very large wasp species. This is in the family of Vespids, or Vespula. It is a queen wasp species. It is reminiscent of some other wasp species found here in Florida. However, this one is a more common species known as the yellow jacket. The difference is the queen yellow jacket is roughly three times larger than the actual regular yellow jacket. Now I've never seen the sting of a queen wasp in general ever documented. This would be the first time. It is a very large wasp species. In fact, it's so large I mistook it for another species found here in Florida. This queen wasp species I've never seen documented. The sting, the potency of the sting, the reaction of the sting documented. Today, we're gonna find out just how painful that actually is. And we'll document the whole thing. Today, I'm gonna use my rubber forceps for entomology to get a grab on this, place it on my forearm, and see just how painful that actually is. I'll do this thing in this approximate area. Let's see if we can get a good grab on it so we can actually perform the sting test. This is very difficult, and the last thing I wanna do is lose another wasp species due to it flying away. It's a very fast wasp too, and it's probably quite agitated, I would imagine. I wouldn't be so happy myself being trapped. Oh, it's a strong wasp. Ooh, look at that. Look at that stinger going. Get a good look at that stinger right here. Can you see it? See her Put your hand behind sting it. repetitively. Is it focusing? Okay. We're gonna go ahead and induce the sting. Are you ready? First ever documented sting of the Queen Yellow Jackets sting. Here we go. One, two, three. If we can get her. Oh, ah, ah. God dang, that was way more serious than most of the other ones. Whoo, holy cow. Okay, all right. Let me put this back in the capsule. Let me give that a second. God dang. <laughs> God, that's likens to the cow killer almost. It's the immediate pain, golly. All right, this was the Vespa, or Vespula, Yellow Jacket Queen Sting Test. And golly, Ned's that freaking burns. Holy cow. Whew, I don't think I've ever felt a lot sting like that before. That joker there burns. Hey. It's been a minute and I can really feel the tension in my skin. I'm gonna go ahead and mark the swelling site so we can really see how much more this progresses over time. Now, I'd really like to just go ahead and release this wasp species. We went ahead and did a photo shoot of it right before I marked this so we could get some good photos of it and document the species as well as we possibly can. Now this is once again the queen yellow jacket found here in north central Florida. It is one of the larger wasp species you'll find here in north central Florida. Let's go ahead and put her back where we found her and we'll do some more follow up on the stings progresses. Alright, we're going to return her right here to the small flower patch that we found her. All right. This is actually milkweed, and we'll go ahead and release her right where she belongs. Alright y'all, 
Thank you for watching this episode. We'll see you next time, right here in the great outdoors. It's been right out of hour. And I would say that the sting was unique compared to other wasp species here in Florida. The sting felt like little guitar strings within my arm that were just getting plucked constantly, almost like an irritating feeling. I would say of a scale of one to 10, this was about a six. It was pretty bad compared to any of the other wasp stings I've received recently. The swelling has way exceeded the circle and has kind of just turned into a red ariticaria area and my arm is pretty swollen. 12 hours later and you can see all of this is swollen and red but you can really see where it stung me it looks like it may even be decaying the flesh a little bit right in that area this is five days later and you can see it's almost like it decayed a little hole into my arm